What's up, glue sniffers? Do you remember our Panzer II from last year? No? Go and check the build video if you didn't. It is a nice one. Anyway, today we will make some cargo for it. And when I say make, I mean that we will build it from different elements, paint it, do some weathering, and make it ready for future installation. Ready or not, let's dig in. So, here we have a little bit of everything. You should choose things that you would find on a North African Panzer II. Some of those things came from kits. Some of them from my gear storage. Here is the place to put all of those figure box leftovers. And some of the junk from the trash pieces bank. You should create one of it if you haven't already. It's a lifesaver from time to time. Most of the items are ready. There is just some cleaning and sanding to do. But we still have to build those water and fuel tanks. First the turret. Let's hang some gear on it. And instead of just gluing the pieces on the metal, I decided to put on a piece of metal wire that had been installed by the crew. I used 0.3mm copper wire. Try to put the wire in logical places. I decided I mean, the crew decided to use those lifting hooks. I did my best to put the wire in a natural shape, so it should follow the shape of the turret and don't forget the effect of gravity. I glued the gear with some medium CA. If you like my content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a hit on that bell icon too. Thank you! You can't go wrong with extra water in the desert. Here I also added a piece of cloth, but we will talk about it later. Now a quick job with the tanks. All we have to do is put them in the cage. I took a piece of 0.3mm metal wire and made a lock bar. I just bent the end. I think it's a nice detail. I started arranging the gear in the back of the tank. Just play around with different setups. When you have a plan, you can start gluing elements together. First, I use the dot of medium CA for the primary gluing. Then, I moved to extra thin CA to make the bond rock solid. Be sure to load the cargo in a logical way. In this example, you should take care not to cover those cooling grids. And slowly, piece by piece, we are getting somewhere. The cargo should be completely removable at any moment. You must arrange it so that the turret can do a 360 degree turn without hitting anything. For the end, I detailed the helmet a little and put it on top. The other cargo pile went in a similar way. I will take the opportunity to tell you something and ask you something. First, I must inform you that the Super Tanks button is now active. That means that you can now support me here on YouTube with small donations. And don't do it all at once, please. Second, I'm working on a one-year celebration video, which will be a combination of my workshop tour and a question and answer video. So, please write me your questions about anything here in the comments and help me make a nice and interesting video. Thank you again! Time to do some tarps to complete our cargo. I gave a try to Tamiya Epoxy Paddy Smooth Type some baby powder to prevent sticking, a hobby blade that is always welcome, and a plastic roller. I just had to put down those 2mm spacers. We are ready to go. I will put the tarps under the cargo. In real life you do this if you don't want your metal things to move around on a rattling tank. 
at least I would do that. And I think that the crew did this too. I put some aluminum foil over the tank. That way you can copy the surface details correctly and you won't have to worry that the paddy sticks to the tank. The paddy is ready. The rolling process went without problems. Just be sure to have baby powder everywhere. On the surface, on the roller and also on the paddy. You can make paper tin tarps in no time. The cutting was another thing. All I can say to you is don't do it this way. It was the first time for me and next time I must find another way of cutting the tarps to exact dimensions. If you have any suggestions, I'm all ears. When you are working with tarps, try to be as gentle as possible. The fingerprints will appear in no time. When the tarp is in position, just put the cargo piece on and try to find a nice fit. Then you can start to make some interesting folds. Wet the silicone sculpting brush with water to prevent sticking. You can see that the tarp is acting pretty naturally. You must make the tarp follow the shapes of the tank. Always think about gravity. I also made some pieces of cloth. You can put those almost everywhere. Here I was looking for the best pose. And in the end I found it. After about 10 minutes it was time to take the aluminum foil away. You should find the right time to do this, because if you wait too long, the tarp will stick to the foil. And if you do it too soon, you will destroy the shape of the tarp. It is quite a delicate moment. Then you put the cargo back on. It's time to do the final shaping with a wet silicone brush. I will take some time here to invite you to check out my Patreon page. If you really like my work and you want more of it, this is the right way. For just a small amount of money, you will get a lot of stuff. There are almost daily photo updates, extra content just from Patreons, you can post your work and we will discuss it together, you can be in direct contact with me and ask anything, you can help me shape the channel with your wishes, and you will get early video releases whenever it's possible. A big thank you to all of my Patreons. You're amazing. A final touch. You can't go wrong with an extra MG42. I just found a nice position and I glued it with some extra tin CA. While the tarps are drying, go and try to remove the cargo piles from time to time. Just to be sure that they are not glued to the surface. And here it is our finished piece of cargo. I took a piece of the Friul model metal tracks to make a spare piece for the front of the tank. The mounting bar is from the photo edge set and I took some ready bolts from this mang sheet. You just have to cut them off with a chisel or a razor blade. The bolts were glued to the bar with black CA. And in the end, the bar was glued to the piece of tracks. I decided to paint this piece with the tank and not with the cargo. So, let's move to the finishing steps. I started with the coat of Ammo One Shot Black Primer. You should spray it straight from the bottle. Around 2 bars of pressure and full throttle application. It does a nice job and it's dry in 30 minutes. Let's see the results. I decided to do a pre-lightening step and I went for Tamiya Fine Surface Primer. Just a top coat to give some light. 
I tried to use only ammo acrylics for the entire paint job. I was mixing them on a wet palette. I will not bother you with the colors I used, because they are probably not the right choice at all. I was looking at reference photos and mixing shades I needed. The process was something like this. First, let's apply the basic colors to everything. Then, I made lighter shades to simulate some wear. Here, for example, some chipping. First, with the lighter shade of the base color and later with the dark brown color. For the tarps, I choose nice vivid colors. The goal is to add some interest to the finished tank. We will see how this went when it is finished. The next important step was an enamel wash. I was using Amo Brown wash for dark yellow. It was applied from the bottle. After a few minutes of drying, I started to clean away the excess with some Amo odorless thinner. I was trying to obtain some shadows and I think this is the easiest way. Our cargo is mostly done. Let's finish it. I used a HB2 pencil to do some highlights on the gun. The effect was blended with a silicone sculpting brush. For the first time I can say that I'm happy with the gun metal look. I also gave some highlights to the tarps. First with the basic color. And in the end with a lighter shade of it. Now we can take a look at how the cargo sits on the tank. Well, not bad at all. And the best part? You can take it down whenever you want. The plan is to block the cargo with a cargo net and some ropes. I made this nice net in about 15 minutes. How I did this? Well, this is a treat for my Patreons. If you want this kind of stuff, you know where to go. The link is in the description. And also this one is done. I hope you find this video useful. As always, tell me your thoughts. I will remind you to also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. If you will share my work on your social media, I will be more than happy. The time has come for me to paint and weather the Panzer too. But next week you will probably be watching the one year special celebration video. Until then, stay healthy, stay cool, and the glue is also meant for the styrene, okay? Bye.